Here are our favourite split screen couch co-op games to play for that special dad for Father's Day. So it's time to grab that extra controller and let's go. First off we have It Takes Two by Hazelight. Play as Cody and May as you try and reignite that spark in your relationship in this beautiful 3D action adventure platform game. Next up we have Moving Out by Team 17, the same people that bought you Overcooked. But this time you're playing as movers in this hectic race against the clock to get that marked furniture in the back of the truck before the time runs out. Our next choice is Tools Out by Knights of Unity. But this time you have to test your skills in renovation and also your teamwork as well as you try and strip off wallpaper, paint walls and move furniture. Oh, and did I mention it's against the clock as well? And finally, we have Plant vs Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Now this is a follow up to Garden Warfare 2 where the plants had officially won the battle against the zombies and they were trapped in jars. But now the zombies have escaped from the jars and the plants have to take on the battle yet again. Now those are inside the game's top couch co-op split screen games that we actually played and reviewed. So we hope you have as much fun and enjoyment as we did. Well Steve, it takes two to review this one. What a wild time. Oh yeah. Dr. Hakim, you have to help me now. They have to stay together. All right, Steve, we got our hands on the latest title from Hazelite, It Takes Two. These guys are pretty known for their co-op only games. And this one, man, I think surpasses everything that I've seen to date from these guys. It Takes Two is sort of a romantic comedy action adventure game man that literally dips its toes in every genre of game i could pretty much think of man so heading into it what did you think dude i absolutely love this game i have to say the the absolute beginning of the cutscene, when it, the premises for the storyline got me hooked straight away yeah. it had all the emotions the it feels like someone in your life has already been through this kind of scenario and it's sort of very relatable to it mm -hmm. and then you start off as these two dolls <laughs> uh cody and may which is the mother and uh, father of the daughter rose who's mm -hmm. upset and her teardrops basically um transformed their parents into a dolls <laughs> to help build a relationship from a book of uh the book of love the book of love <laughs> <laughs> it was absolutely quirky and what a character oh man that that's just it like right away it grips you with emotion and it just really sets the tone but then as soon as the book of love comes into play it just adds a sense of humor and i i found throughout the whole game man it's just a steady pace of gameplay into cutscene that Usually the cutscenes will make you laugh or again just kind of tug those heartstrings. It's just wonderful, man. Yeah, and it and it strings everything together. The cutscenes, the the comical little little interactions that husband and wife uh, <laughs> when they go through a separation or divorce and the mm -hmm. little bitterness and picking holes and stuff like that. <laughs> but I have to say, first off, when you sort of mentioned about the split screen, so you can either play uh, couch co-op just mm -hmm. have another controller or what i did was actually they actually have a, a friend game pass that is actually from the microsoft store is free to download so the other person down downloads that as long as someone has the main game they can just join in and jump in and help you complete this game because it is so much fun and it's it kind of reminds me the graphical style reminds me of like a, a pixar movie mm -hmm. And I find that's when sort of like watching the cutscenes, I'm actually more excited like watching what's going to happen next. And then before you know it, you have to do something. Yeah, man. You meet all sorts of funny characters like the squirrels and the bumblebee. Like it's just, 
it has that Pixar feel and like you said the accessibility with this game is awesome I played this solely with my girlfriend coach co-op you would play played it with your buddy using the friend pass this game man they just wanted people to play it and actually the most recent numbers we got they've hit over a million in in sales that's incredible man that's over a million people playing this game so good job yeah. on them right yeah and it's definitely like a, a breath of fresh air I mean, mm -hmm. there's so many open world games out, survivals or loot and shoots kind of thing. And it kind of reminds me of like back back in the day playing the old Nintendo games, the family get together <laughs> and just get your Wii remotes or Wii controllers and just play that kind of split screen kind of feel of game. And it was so smooth, I have to say, all the transition, because apart from it just being like a 3D um, game there was also side platform top down as well depending on what you're doing if it's a, a boss battle or if it's just actually trying to get to get to rose basically mm -hmm. the premises of the game is the idea is you have to get to rose and you have all these obstacles so you do actually start off in rose's bedroom so you can imagine it's like honey you shrunk the kids and, you, and everything's on large large scale and you just bounce off things and there's also Another little touch they added as well is little mini games. Ah, oh, yes. Throughout the different areas. I can't be in two places at the same time, can I? Oh, unless you want me to clone myself. Cloning? I think we pretty much. <laughs> I don't know if we've really complained about anything. And I guess, I guess, if I'm going to have to score this, there's one tiny little thing I could complain about is that maybe Cody's character is a little bit too whiny at times. It wasn't too bad, but just. All in all, I found he was just more of the whiny guy the entire time. But that all aside, the mechanics of this game, the visuals are next to none, man. 9.5 from me. Oh, that's awesome. I'm kind of with you on, on everything you've said. Of the visually, the quirky voiceovers, the characters, even like Rose. It's always got me a bit tearful on some point, points yeah, on the past things. Everything works together, couch co-op, online multiplayer, breath of fresh air. I'm giving this a 9.5. It Takes Two is the perfect co-op experience. A blend of just about every style of game crammed into a heartfelt story. The graphics and the world created are beyond imaginative, from traversing through vast open areas to small tiny caves, you are often left admiring the scenery. And to top off this ultimate experience, the developers were generous enough to offer the friend pass, enabling you to play and share this game with your friends.